the pipe on the fault line, she put this and I put in the middle. You can see that young lady, the bride, and the son was represented by his mother or sister. And in that way, the mercy is concluded, so we found the group. Um, right now, we can only hope that the soldier knew about that marriage. You know, that it wasn't a surprise for him. And now we are changing the floor from the quiet one, clean one, into the dirty one, and the destroyed one that will lead us through the terror in Krakow during the war. There was very common in those years that the rules of deportations to death in the concentration camps, labor camps, also for the forced labors in the flat, right? And uh, as I mentioned before, the biggest Krakow prison was Montelupi prison, and here you can see the name of Montelupi Street, and that orange poster you can see here, it was called the poster of death. On the posters of death were the names of Polish people who were arrested by the Gestapo. And the rule for those posters of death was that if the Polish resistance movement opposed to the German authorities, then those people from those lists would be killed by the Gestapo. Everyone knew who was going to be killed next time because those posters were publicly visible, so everyone knew. In a second, we'll go to the corridor. In that corridor, we'll see lots of pictures of public mass executions, which were in Krakow mostly in 1943 and 1944. The most dramatic thing about